What is up guys? Today we're doing Driven Calgary. If you guys know, we've been here quite a bit actually the last three years. We got Adrian. Adrian, wave. <laughs> we got Taylor, David, and my friend Miles. I'll introduce him to you guys because he's a filmmaker. He does really good films. But anyways, um, he's going to be here too. So we got everyone today. Um, and look at all those cars. So this is what we're checking out today. There's lots of cars, lots of people, lots of cool people that I know here. Lots of their cars here, so we should be checking those out. And I got the big lens on. Um, I don't know, I'll find a mirror somewhere. But I'll show you guys um, the lens I'm working with. It's a little bit different. And then look at all those. Those are all um, rooftop tents, like what I want to do in the Forester, so that is awesome. The first booth you walk into is all these rooftop tent campers. So this is kind of what I want to do with the Forester. Actually, this is identical to what we want to do with the Forester. Oh, okay. Is, I, I actually, this is the brand I'm kind of looking at. Um, but yeah, look at all these kind of setups right now. Adrian, what do you think of this? It's neat. It's neat. Would you do it? Yeah, maybe. Well, we need to convince some guys, but yeah, so these are all like rooftop tents that I'm kind of looking at. Um, and then look at these racks, actually. That's for, I know the brand they're, or maybe not, maybe a different brand, but I want one for the Forcer. Unfortunately, they don't make one for Forcer, so we, we'll get Adrian to custom make something, I guess. But yeah, so there's all the rooftop tents, guys. So that's something I want to do with the Forcer someday is lift it and whatever, and yeah, we'll go continue along. Um, I don't know a lot of these companies, they're kind of changing you know, every year, so we'll see. Don't know how the audio is, but it's pretty quiet right now, we'll probably get a little bit louder later today. We found Taylor's dream car, or t car Taylor wants, blacked out, all black Evo with a wide body kit. That's what Taylor wants, don't you, huh? Hell yeah. <laughs> of course he does. Anyways, um, so yeah, most the main reason I have this lens is I want to take some pictures, this is a really good photography lens, so I'm kind of doing double duty here, so um, there won't be much after move, like kind of cinematic stuff, just because I'll direct you towards Miles, and Miles knows exactly what he's doing, and he's a professional now, so yeah, I'll direct you towards him for like the after movie, I guess. This is more like a vlog, I guess. Yo, 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 look who I found. Miles is making a video, as I said, or an after movie, so we're gonna follow him this one. But I'll link his channel down below because his after movies are great. But, you know, you know the expensive cameras are out now. <laughs> Bring all the gear. Miles' is rig. Miles, time to go shoot something. <laughs> he had to get one little USB-C cable in for that top monitor, and it literally took him like 10 minutes just because of the way his rig is set up. But we're going to go walk around and try to find some stuff. Um, he's got a plan. See, this is, this is how you make an after movie, but you gotta actually have a plan. If you guys watch any of my old Driven content, I literally just filmed at random, so I was jumping all over. Where Miles knows exactly what he's gonna shoot and how he's gonna shoot it, and like, he's probably got a storyboard written out somewhere up there. <laughs> so you guys are gonna start recognizing some of these shots, so this is the intro shot right here. So. I don't think I actually showed you, but this is from the top view. So there's all the cars right here. So the problem with filming is Miles has a hard time uh, finding space to film around these. <laughs> Cut me out of your shot. Uh, around the really nice cars because there's just so many people around. And he just wanted to hit a bike. Anyways, <laughs> you're that close. Um, but there's a lot of people around these cars, so it's really hard to shoot. But we were shooting that Greyheart 7. And we're so the plan right now, as far as I understand it, is he's doing like a intro to each um, series. So like the Euro, the Japanese, the off-road, and then he's gonna do features of each of them. So it's gonna be good. Anyways, we're kind of walking around. Um, I don't know what I've shown you guys. I've been here for like an hour, so I'm kind of losing track of what I've seen and what I haven't, but I'll keep you updated on the cars, and especially the cars that I really like, I will show you guys. Anyways, onwards. Adrian, oh, there's a 458 too. So we walked around right before, and um, this is our third or fourth time walking around. Fourth. There's a wide body NSX and a 458 wide body, so let's go check those out. Holy. So, NSX, and that's a wide body. Holy damn, that looks good. Liberty Walk. Is this what Liberty Rock. It's. So that's a Liberty Walk, and that's both a Liberty Walk kit. I'm not sure if I'm a fan of this wrap though, but I love the rims. Or the wheels, sorry. 
And then, you know, there's a GTR also over there. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, whatever. So over there, there's the, the hypercars, and then right here, actually, this is the guy I follow, um, and it's a beautiful oh, STI, oh, actually. Yeah. And there's the interior, but it's changed a lot since it's been first built and then half cage. This needs to, we need one of these for the race car, because holy damn. This is the stuff you have to deal with when you're making a movie with this expensive gear. His gimbal is just not like life. So because um, he changed um, his distance, he went from a 24 to a 70. Yeah. So it moves the weight over, so you have to be able to balance the gimbal. And then his gimbal just decided it wasn't going to have it anymore. So he's trying to get the connect to your phone, but there's so many people here. I think it's just, there's so many devices, it's just freaking out. All right, and then I got it. Those two are like on Instagram or something. We're back in business and we're shooting the first car. So now he's going to feature five of his favorite cars. And it turns out one of them is this pink 350. It's actually pretty sick. I love the like, it's got subtle camber, but it's like perfect. I finally found where you can see the mirror, guys. So look at that lens I'm running. So that's why it's not very good to vlog. But we're back at the same area, kind of shooting, I don't know, what are we shooting? Just going over, there's Miles, way over there. Shooting some video. So if you recognize the cars where we at now, this is all the local people. So we got Charles, we got Jesse Supra, and this is their booth. So they were here last year too, um, but now they got more because they're doing the infamous design um, arrow. So it's actually on all these cars, this is a race car. So it's <laughs> got the um, arrow, but every time I look at Miles' the screen, I'm just like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> Might actually be time. one of my favorite cars. Adrian, is it one of your favorite cars here? GD Panda. GD Panda, so if you guys go on Instagram, it's um, essentially a white uh, Subaru, but let's just like, walk around it. But everything of this car is amazing, so it's got the, uh, I can't remember this company right now. Adrian, what's the taillights company? You don't know, okay. But they're the LED like chaser lights, they're freaking amazing. Everything's just awesome about this car. Of course, wide bodied, end on bags, and half, and the full cage actually, not a half cage. And nice gauge setup. And then, it has pie cut everything. And look at how clean that bay is. It's got a tubbed front end, it's got massive turbo. Um, that's a very expensive intake, um, a V intake, I can't remember what they're called, and this is running the 207 block, so it's a, not an EJ25, but it's an absolute beautiful car, so I'll just walk back. It's almost goals. So we're headed out now, it's been, what, five hours or something? Yeah. I have no idea how this video is going to go. It's kind of like Miles' video today. No storyboard at all. We're just kind of winging it. Um, but I will link his after movie on the comments below when it's out. It'll probably be after this video comes out just because it takes a little more work to make a sick edit. But how did you like it? Good, good. How did you like it? I need to buy my car now. <laughs> he wants to buy a car that he can modify. I'm like, as we're leaving this, I'm like, hey Adrian, let's go uh, work on Project A <laughs> because why not? I want to, I want to finish my car, so it's in here someday. But that is gonna be it for today. So Hello. see you guys working on Project. Oh yeah, we're gonna go eat dinner. We'll I'll vlog for that. Sure. But I have to say, I think my favorite car was that GD Panda Subaru. I followed them on Instagram for a long time, so see that in real life. <laughs> It's pretty cool. Also, everything is just perfect about it. It's done, like everything's been worked on. There's not a single part that hasn't been modified with that car. So I'd have to say that's probably my favorite. Adrian, you got a favorite car? Um, um. <laughs> Put him on the spot here, he doesn't know. That one, that one. No, okay, Taylor, what's your favorite car? Uh, Evos. Evos, I guess. Mustang. He's... No, wait, Mustang. The that... Lancer, the, the Lancia Integral. Was that the clover leaf thing? No. No. I don't know what it was. Lancia Integral. Mustang GT350. That's mine. Yeah, Taylor likes Mustangs. <laughs> but um, yeah, that the GD Panda I think has got to be mine. I don't know that clean RX7 was pretty nice with the RB26 um, in it. Only issue it didn't have a rotary. I wish it did. If it had a rotary, be a lot cooler, just because it should have a rotary. But anyways, yeah, we're off to get food. I think I'll vlog. I don't know. If I don't, I'll do an outro anyways. So, see you guys somewhere. Bye.
Hey.